Hello, my name is Gladys. Welcome back to my channel. If you have clicked on this video, you're also probably wondering if this Evi sunscreen good for your skin? What is this new technology that this Evi sunscreen is using? Should you buy it? Should you try it? All sorts of questions. So let's talk about sunscreen today. Let's dive into it. So I found this sunscreen a few months back when I was watching this YouTube video from this YouTuber and she was saying, you know, this uh, sunscreen has some new sunscreen technology. I did a lot and a lot of research on this uh, particular product and the technology behind it. So I am going to share what I found on the internet so you can decide whether you wanted to give this sunscreen a try. Let's talk about the science behind... Okay, sorry. <laughs> So let's talk about the science behind this sunscreen. Are you ready? Okay, let me get started. So this sunscreen itself has a technology called Proderm technology. Now this technology is a patent technology and the technology itself can be actually used in a lot of other skincare, not just for this sunscreen. So let's dive into what is the Proderm technology. So this technology is an excellent um, basically delivery technology that helps to deliver the ingredients, the active ingredients to the upper layer of our face. So I found this study on the internet that shows, you know, this Proderm technology, what does it do on the skin? So in this graph, you can see that, you know, normal cream actually only sits on top of the skin. And then you can see uh, with the cream, with this particular technology, it actually goes to the upper layer of our skin. For people who have really sweaty skin, so it was Especially for people who are exercising, like they are doing a lot of outdoor activities, they are enjoying themselves under the sun. Basically, people who are very active, this uh, particular sunscreen would be very beneficial for their skin because it stays on top of their upper layer of their skin. So, you know, whether it's rubbing, whether they sweat, it doesn't wear off that quickly. That's why the product itself can claim that they can last up to six hours. Uh, now, I'm not so sure about six hours. But I can definitely see that why this particular sunscreen would last longer than normal sunscreen. Unfortunately, this sunscreen only contains chemical filters. And I have tried it myself. My, I have sensitive skin. Um, I didn't experience any discomfort or any, any irritation after using it for um, about a week. So um, another great thing about this sunscreen, which I rave about all the time, is that I always pick something that is fragrance free. So this sunscreen is fragrance free because of the patent um, technology, Prodome technology, fragrance free, oil free, non-comodogenic. Why is it non-comodogenic? Again, you know, I'm gonna go back to the Prodome technology. So uh, normal sunscreen only sits on top of your skin. Now on top of your skin is where all your pores are, right? And uh, some of the ingredients clog your pores and even if it doesn't clog your pores, it just stays on top of your skin. And especially when, when I was talking about, you know, when you go outside and, you know, enjoying the sun and then you're like sweating, mix it with the sunscreen and then if there's any bacteria and oil, it could potentially uh, leads to pimple. So because of this special technology, it doesn't have any problem of clogging your pores because the sunscreen is not in the pore area. It's like a win-win situation, pretty much solves um, most of the problem or issue that people have with some of the sunscreen. It prolongs your sunscreen because it stays on top of your uh, skin, on the upper layer of your skin. It doesn't clog your pores, no fragrance, it doesn't irritate your skin. It helps to strengthen your skin barrier as well. It sounds pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? However, <laughs> I'm going to say something um, on the downside that I have a concern with when I was doing all those research um, from the sunscreen. So recently, uh, there is a study from the FDA saying that some of the chemical filters would actually enter our bloodstream uh, even after we've applied the sunscreen uh, after three to four days. This is how they did the study is that people are uh, applying uh, on the skin, 75% of their skin area, so pretty much all over their body, and then they reapply it set four times every single day. So they tested it for four days. So, and as a result, they can see that some of the um, chemical filters can be found in their bloodstream. Now, there is no study, okay? Don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> this is also FDA approved as well, FDA saying that don't panic, because there are a lot of news. Um, in the US especially saying, even in, in Hong Kong, saying, you know, oh, all these chemical filters can go into your bloodstream, which is true, okay? 
but there's no study um, saying uh, the toxicity of this chemical filters. It's just no study. And again, you know, this study is, is a result of people extensively using 75% of their body skin, okay? 75% I'm talking about a lot of surface area. And they reapply this uh, sunscreen four times every single day. And so I'm not saying that this chemical filters will not go into our bloodstream. What I'm saying is, um, this is also something that I have concern with because this particular sunscreen contains uh, the chemical filters it has has um, avobenzone and octocrylene. So it also has um, two chemical filters which is not allowed in uh, the US. So they've been tested as two chemical filters, Tinosorb S and Uvino A+. So uh, it also has avobenzone and octocrylene. So uh, avobenzone and octocrylene is actually tested in the FDA uh, recent study that's saying it has Studies show that it could possibly be uh, found in your bloodstream after using, uh, even after three to four days. And so uh, that actually is my concern. However, however, okay, however, FDA didn't say that it's not safe because, you know, you need to take this uh, study with a grain of salt. The reason behind, there's no study that shows whether these um, ingredients that are found in our bloodstream is actually harmful for our body. The FDA said that they need further study to see uh, if it is good or bad for our body. Um, and then the second thing is, the main reason why we put on sunscreen, apart from getting rid of the UVA ray that damages and aging our skin, it also is a very good protection against skin cancer. So. No sunscreen, you got skin cancer, you get disease, but you have sunscreen, those ingredients found in your bloodstream, but there's no study saying that they are really bad for your body. The FDA is still saying, despite the findings, put on your sunscreen, okay? <laughs> so, I'll let you decide whether you wanted to give this uh, sunscreen a try. So now, I am going to show this product on my hand so that you can see. see? So the texture itself is very mousse-like, like um, it's almost like I want to lick it, you know, like creep. It doesn't have any fragrance, but it does have um, those um, sunscreen kind of smell. Um, it's not too strong. I mean, you know, it will go away uh, once you rub it all over your face. So. This is very interesting, okay? So um, it comes out, as you see, it comes out as a mousse and it takes some time for your skin to really uh, absorb, absorb the sunscreen itself. But once you rub it in, okay, it just like, your skin immediately like consumed the, the cream, okay? So it's pretty, pretty interesting. Let me know what other brands that you love as well. I'm interested to know what you what guys are all using on your face. So uh, in terms of the protection of this every sunscreen, it has a really good UVB, which is SPF 50, and a UVA uh, protection, which gives you a UVA five star uh, rating. So it is giving you a high coverage and protection against UVA ray and UVB ray. I've tried a lot of sunscreen since I was 16 and now I'm in my 30s. I really have not seen anything like this before. I'm not saying all the other sunscreen available in the market are not good. Despite the fact that this uh, sunscreen only contains chemical filter, which I have questioned about, you know, the safety of some of the ingredients going down into our bloodstream. So for me, how I would use it, uh, I would still stick to my uh, physical sunscreen uh, and chemical filters. I would use this for any outdoor activities. Um, I go hiking every single week. It is particularly annoying when I'm like sweating and I'm trying to put sunscreen on. The sunscreen just wouldn't stick. I would definitely uh, use this sunscreen when I'm doing any kind of outdoor activities. And also, you know, for people who are doing any kind of under the water uh, activities like diving, this actually would be perfect for um, people who are doing those kind of extreme spots. So you would get your own protection, but at the same time, you can have a peace of mind of, you know, you're actually protected by this new technology sunscreen. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell to support me to make more videos like this. I will see you in my next one. Bye!